Schultz coming in, he's throwing some wide shots. Rivera is still crafty. The experience of 17 fights, or 16 pro fights. Rivera in his last fight lost to Alejandro Gonzalez. Uh, 10 round fight. Good uppercut by Rivera. He's exhausted, man. You can see it. Now he's bleeding from the nose. Yeah, Rivera had that pep in his step the first round. It's slowed down. Those body shots were taking the toll, huh? Absolutely. And, and Patron's doing what his athlete needs to do. Keep pressing the action. I, like I said, I like to see more jabs walking in. He just got hit with a good body shot. Took a while with Patron. He got hit with a nice jab. He's getting touched up too, man. He's yeah. busted up. Both fighters are, but Patron better be responsible defensively and not get so reckless. Keep the guard up. Yeah, you know, slip, slip and roll the shots. You know, he throws good combinations, but he's not being responsible defensively. And the crowd inside his polyphonum. Zamna making noise. A nice shot, solid from Patron. Oh, fighters just train. Four more fights to go tonight. Go the more fight night. Man, good oh, right hand. Oh, body three. shot. Yeah. Yeah. Patron with the body shot. Drops Rivera, and he is in agony. He's on one knee, and he gets up. Right at eight. Oh, man. And he's spinning up last, spinning up the mouthpiece, and he's done. He is done. A big, big KO for Angel Patron. 30 seconds Ooh, to go with the red zone. Uh-oh. A little trying to roll with him. That's not good. He just looks stiff. Like, nothing's right for Doodle right now. And, and that, good over, right, that over right hand that Irvine threw right now was just nothing on it. And Hernandez just coming forward, good, throwing some good right uppercuts to the body. Another one. Good left hand. Oh, oh, body shot. shot. Oh, the referee's going to say that they tripped. He threw a right oh. uppercut to the body. Yeesh. He was off balance, but he, threw, yeah. he landed the punch. He was off balance. Now, it affects you. And then you had an opponent switch up on you on Tuesday. They told you, I said, Sebastian Hernandez, his team said, yeah, we'll take it. That's dangerous because Hernandez, he's a Tijuana fighter, so you know he's going to be tough. And he's digging and he's looking he's tough digging. right now. And those punches are landing. Absolutely. Rush. Body shot from Hernandez. Hook from Hernandez. Tudo is in trouble. His head going back. Hernandez landing, but not with much power. And now Tudu's sitting on the ropes. Now the power's coming from Hernandez. Hernandez will not stop throwing. Hernandez Tudu. is in shape. Oh, and he's man. letting it go. He's letting the shots go. But and Tudu is the still kill. there. He's going for the kill. He's going for the knockout. We got a long way to go in this one, in this round. Hernandez keeps throwing punch after punch after punch. Tudu slipped. You know that though, right? When you're, you're, your pops has the mechanic shot. Like you're, you're cut from a different breed, oh. and he dropped him. Oh man, Logan Hernandez has dropped Tudu. It's over. And it is over. It's a over. KO. Sebastian Hernandez. A big KO. Uh, Edwin Tudu Villartes on Golden Boy Fight Night. In the corner of Aguillon, his dad, is very adamant, go after him. Uppercut, Mariano's one, really two. Some nice and shots. Silva gets tagged, Doubling uppercut. Up. Left hand from Emiliano Aguillon. Silva bleeding now, and Aguillon putting it together in the seventh round. Silva cut, Aguillon looking smooth. Nice jab by Emiliano. Uppercut again from Aguillon, and Silva's in trouble. And it's just look at the angles when Emiliano lets out a combination. Slip inside to side, creating different angles for him to throw combinations. Nice left hook by Emiliano. And he's just bouncing around on his toes. 
You sure he's only 18, Gabe? <laughs> he, he definitely has the energy. Uh-huh. He's got that I don't care about you attitude also. With a minute to go in the seventh round. And he already got it. He's 18. He oh, looks oh, and he hurt Silva. Oh, oh, look at him. Uppercut again. He's been looking for that Double uppercut. The hook. You wanted Silva to do it? Aguillo said, nah, Gabe, I'm listening to you. Man, and Silva's hurt. You can see it. Yeah. He's wobbly. And Milano has a lot of energy. But <laughs> and now Aguillo just Silva talking. He landed a big <laughs> overhand right. And Aguillo just barking at Silva. Oh, man, a fun fight. Emiliano Aguillon, the 18-year-old last-minute replacement. He shows up, and he puts on a show. He controlled this fight. He worked this fight. He made the undefeated Aron Silva look inexperienced, and they're going to go the distance. Ten rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, after ten rounds of boxing, we will now go to the judges' scorecards. Después de 10 rounds de combate, nos vamos con las tarjetas de los jueces. El juez, judge Raúl Jiménez, he scores at 98 to 93, 98 a 93. And judges, los jueces, Mario Mena and Jorge Martín had the same scores of 97 to 93. Estos dos últimos jueces coinciden en números 97 a 93. For your winner by way of unanimous decision, Su vencedor por la vía de la decisión unánime. Querétaro, Querétaro presente. Emiliano, el Popeye Aguillón. Felix Alvarado is always very active. 19 of the last 22 opponents. Wow, that was a good hook. Yep, that quick oh, right. hook too. Because, see, Ayala's throwing big shots, but they're not really landing. And when you throw big shots and you're not accurate, you fade faster. Oh! oh! That big shot you're talking about, Alvarado lands in the first round. Felix Alvarado drops Ayala for the first time in his career. And Ayala still unsteady. And Alvarado is applying pressure. Both these guys just gassed. Their corners are asking them to do something. Their mind is telling them the body. Respect to these two warriors. What a fight. And we still got our main event to go with Miguel Burchelt. Ayala. Uppercut from Alvarado. From Felix Alvarado. Hook from oh. Alvarado. Body oh. shot from Alvarado. Oh, Again. Body shot. He's not going to go away easy. Felix Alvarado. But do not think I'm a gatekeeper. I'm not that. I'm still a world champion contender. I want to be a two division champ. I want to be known as one of the best in the division. The show he's put on tonight. And he's closing it. Against Angel Ayala. He started strong. He's finishing strong. Ayala, Alvarado, Golden Boy fight night. They go at it. They put on a show in the Eliminator. Fight. 114 a 113, Jonathan Davis, Frank Jackson, and Ron McNair. For your winner by way of unanimous decision, su vencedor por la vía de la decisión unánime, Managua, Nicaragua. Perdón. No. Texcoco, Estado de México. Man, that's not cool. Okay, ring announcer Pablo Flores this can't. got it wrong. 
He initially said Felix Alvarado. And then now Alvarado is talking to Flores. Flores is showing him the card. And it is Angel Ayala who wins 114 wow. to 113. All three of Burchell's losses have come by a KO. He said, that's all people were talking about when I was out. All right, let me show you what I'm really all about. 38 to three. Has to make a statement. Right hand. Nice right hand flush. on the show. Body shot, you can hear him. And Ruiz smile, he got tagged. And Burchell looks big and strong. Yes, he does. Burchell said 130 is where he would want to go, depending on how tonight is. I like the jab that Burchell's throwing. You know, he's not, he's not really putting nothing on it, but he's sticking it out there. And I like that. It Tom sets up nice hooks like that. Hook landing flush. Less than a minute to go in the opening round. You know, distract the guy with the jab. There you go. Keep popping that jab. Nice body shot. Yes, it is. For and Ruiz Chell. felt that. Look at sharp as Miguel Burchell. El Alacran, the scorpion. Yeah, he's looking good. And Ruiz. And Ruiz looks like he's fading already, man. Yeah. He's falling apart. His body shot. Nice yeah. body shot. Uh, Burchelt. Hook from Burchelt. Man. Combination from Burchelt. Burchelt's strong, man. This is some good punching power right here. The activity's great. The confidence is good. Good left hook to the body, right to the liver. This is going back to looking like how we did against Bandido Vargas, where he just had that confidence and a snap yeah. to him. He you didn't know, have that in the last two fights. And he looked like he was worried of taking shots in his last couple of fights. Like he wasn't confident to take a shot. Right now, it's just he's just walking his man down. And they give you an opponent that's going to give you that resistance, but you got to look good against. Yep. This is what you want to see. Yep. And they thought that was going to be his last fight against Jeremiah and Nikita. But it was Nikita who just beat down Burchell in that fight last Man. March. What I like, he's walking him down, cutting the ring off. Body. It's a different variety of punches. Jab, jab, left hook to the body, left uppercut. 30 seconds to go in the round. I like that right there, that double left hook. You said it gave it an open. It's, yeah, you win, but it's how you win. Oh, nice oh, shot. Burchell with the hook. He set that up with a right uppercut. Ruiz ate that. He he did it oh. In the corner. Ruiz shaking his head. No, yes, it is yes, Ruiz. You're getting tagged. And when Ruiz throws back, Burchell's being responsible. He's rolling his head. He's slipping. He's not getting hit back with flush shots. Nice, solid round by Burchell. And the doctor's gonna go and check out Ruiz. Yeah, I noticed Ruiz wasn't looking good in the corner, man. And, it's and I think they're gonna stop it. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. it looks like he has a bad shoulder yeah. or something. They're working on the doctor, the dad. Mind, mind you, this is the dad slash trainer looking out for his son. It doesn't look good. They're it saying no. And they're going to stop it. Referee, the doctor, and the fight is over.